A once blind man can now see. Is this amazing grace or just amazing science? <laughs> Hey guys, Lacey Green here for DNews. A company called Advanced Cell Technology, or ACT, has given a blind man the gift of sight. In 2011, they started using human embryonic stem cells to attempt to improve the vision of 22 patients in their clinical trial. Most of the patients have been seeing modest improvements, but one guy in particular is blowing everyone's mind with his fantastic progress. He started out with 2400 vision, which once you hit 2200, you are legally blind, so this guy is like, Double blind. 2400 vision means that before treatment, what average eyes can see from 400 feet away, he has to be only 20 feet away. After treatment though, with a little sprinkling of some scientific magic sauce, his vision is now 2040, which is the level that most reading material is printed at and the level at which you can pass your driver's test. So the folks at ACT are like, dude, people's world. Listen up. This guy was blind, now he can see, he can drive a car, he can read stuff. Next up, science beats 5,000 people with two fish and a loaf of bread. ACT embarked on this journey by focusing on two of the most common causes of blindness. The first, dry age-related macular degeneration, and the second, Stargardt's macular dystrophy. These degenerative conditions cause people to lose RPE cells in their eyes. RPEs basically clean and feed your photoreceptors, which capture light and then send signals up to your brain that allow you to see. So what these scientists did was to use the stem cells to create those RPE cells and then transplanted them underneath the retina. This, my friends, is why stem cells are in fact friggin' amazing. They're kind of one of my favorite science things ever. The human embryonic stem cells used here are pluripotent, meaning they can transform into any type of cell. So let's think about that for a second. This means not just making the blind see, it means giving a little girl a new trachea, it means reversing Alzheimer's, stroke, diabetes, arthritis, house fire, they can grow new tissues for a burn victim, heart disease, stem cells can grow into blood vessels. So we're not quite there with all of these things yet, but we're definitely on our way. Of course, this type of stem cell innovation doesn't come without a little bit of controversy. Pluripotent human embryonic stem cells require an embryo that's been fertilized in a petri dish, and in the process, the embryo is destroyed. So this has caused anti-abortion groups to work to halt research on the grounds that it's destroying a human life. As a consequence, in 2001, President Bush limited funds to stem cell research, but the move was reversed in 2009 by President Obama, which paved the path for this particular study and other eye trials to get to work. So two years into the research, and here's some of the progress that's already changing medical possibilities in a major way way. So Anthony did a video on stem cell cloning, an awesome and maybe less controversial form of stem cell extraction. So if you're interested, you should check that out over here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more DNews every day.